Hey there everyone, this is Mo Shang again. Um, we're about to release our second batch of Groovisizer kits and I just wanted to show you some new features that have been added to the Alpha firmware that will be shipping with uh, the next batch of kits. And the first is over here, let me just uh, load up a pattern. Uh, the first, uh, oh that's a pretty boring pattern, well in fact let's just create a pattern in uh, random mode. Okay, that's a pattern and uh, we could uh, always reverse uh, the pattern so it plays backwards uh, and we always had this hold step that would repeat the step you're on but now there's also a handy uh, random function on uh, on F3 and that's in the trigger mode. So that's the first uh, feature and then over here in our uh, settings page so if you hold shift R and shift L you're, back, you're uh, in the settings page. Um, so first up you have your uh, notifications this is scrolling text that will, uh, will show you the firmware version and also on here on this on this page it will tell you what all the functions are so if five this is a uh, trigger out so if you want to a uh, trigger pattern on another groove sizer uh, that you would want that to be on um, but also now you can select the channel that you're sending that on so you would hold shift uh, or you would hold f5 and then uh, I've got the scrolling text on, so we're going to have to wait for it to scroll past. And then with uh, pot 6, you can select your channel. So channel 1, 2, 3, 4, general. I put it on channel 10, so I know it's there. On F4, we have uh, node entry. So if you want to program uh, the Groovisizer from uh, an attached keyboard, you can do so with, uh, with node entry. That's on F4. I'm switching mine off now. On F3, uh, let that scroll past. On F3, we have uh, note out. So that is the actual pattern that that the Groove Sizer is playing, uh, being sent out as MIDI notes. And again, we've changed it so that now you can select the channel that it's sending on. So that will be on uh, uh, hold F3, and then uh, I was going to scroll again. If you don't like the scrolling, you can switch it off, obviously, with F6. Um, now you can select your channel that the notes, the actual sequenced notes will uh, go out on. Let's turn that to channel 1. And now these two, F1 and F2, are mutually exclusive. On F1, we have sync out, so we'll be sending out a MIDI beat clock with uh, F1 lit. And then that's mutually exclusive with, um, with this one on F2, which is automation out, so... Um, if you recorded automation on the automation lane and you want to send that out, uh, you can send out MIDI sync at the same time. Um, but also on, uh, on this, with the automation out, you can select the channel that you're sending on. Uh, it's going to scroll again. You can select the channel um, that you're sending on. If you set it to zero, it will follow notes out that we selected on, uh, on F3. So just keep it on double zero if you want it to be the same as uh, the channel that the notes are going out on. Or you can select another channel. And then with that was with pot 6. And with pot 5 you can select the, the actual MIDI CC that it will be sending. So anywhere from 0 to uh, 127. And just uh, with this uh, text indication or this uh, the numerals, um, I only have space for you know t two numbers, so anything over 100 or 100 and over will have this LED LED uh, lit. So um, let me take it down a notch, and you can tell. So that's 110, 106, 100, and then you will see that that LED turns off. Um, and I'm using the same system of displaying uh, numbers uh, with nudge tempo, which is another. Uh, new feature so if I go out to my pattern and I go into pot shift mode as always you can change the tempo with pot 6 but now you can also nudge the tempo with uh, in pot shift mode with uh, shift R lit hold shift R and then F5 for slower and F6 for faster and it will show you the actual BPM 
so right now it's 131. And that can go all the way up. Uh, one, one, oh, actually now with two left that would be 200, 219, 216, 14, 13. So, and that's it for the new features. Uh, new Groover Sizer kits available on groovesizer.com tomorrow.